This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planters plant food. I'm Greg Spiker, director of Hilltop Gardens at Indiana University, and today we're going to talk about naturalizing lesser bulbs or small bulbs or minor bulbs, whatever you want to call them, and it is because they're small. You can also naturalize daffodils in your lawn, but that's a little larger and they're a little difficult. One nice thing about some of these smaller bulbs, they don't grow much taller than your grass and the foliage is about the same texture as grass, so they're not as noticeable once you have to start mowing and then the foliage disappears. So we're, today we're gonna talk about, we've got some crocus in here, we've got some uh, little irises, and they're a different kind of iris, and then we've got another little package of larger crocus. Now we're here on our slope that faces our main road coming in and out of campus and we do that because as the top of the slope thaws out from the winter it slowly the crocus start to come up in succession so that the whole hill is never in bloom at the same time but it's in kind of works its way down to the bottom of the hill so if you have a site like that that's great if it's just flat in your front yard then your whole yard comes into bloom at the same time so what we do is we start with the smallest ones it doesn't really matter whatever you have but i want to start with the smallest ones so we start with our smallest bulb here, and these are nice little tiny crocus. You can see a little point on the top. These come from Brent and Becky's bulbs, and so you can see how nice those are. These are, the other thing too is they're easy to get in the lawn because they're so small. When you get with really big bulbs, they're kind of hard. Take and knife a hole in the ground like this. They don't have to be very deep. That's the other thing too. Is they don't have to be 12 or six inches deep. They just have to be just under the grass. So you just tuck them in, and if they get sideways somehow, that's okay too. And then I kind of space them out because we don't want a solid dense bed. We want them to look like they're natural. That's why it's called naturalizing bulbs. So about six, 10 inches away, not rocket science. Kind of wiggle a little hole in the grass again, drop a bulb in, tuck it in. Another one, push it in. It might help to water your grass before you do this for the day before you want to do this, but there you go. So get, just trying to wiggle it in, pop one in. So that's it. I'm Greg Spiker, director of Hilltop Gardens at Indiana University, and that's the dirt on naturalizing bulbs.